So today I got the day off and waiting on parts for all, pretty much all the projects. So I'm gonna do a quick little video of how I'm gonna make a flange to hold the air compressor air filter for the airbag system. It has to be mounted in a dry place. So I'm gonna mount it in the bed and uh, from the previous owner they used to have a gooseneck in the bed and they had a plug on the side which has a small hole. That I never covered up when I redid the bed. I figured one day I need it for something. So I'm gonna use it to mount the uh, airbag. I'll show you now how we'll measure it and then we'll go to the computer, sketch it out, give us some dimensions and make a part. So here's the hole from the trailer plug they had for the gooseneck. You got a small hole in the middle where the plug went through and then where these shinier spots are or where the two bolts were for the flange of it. So I got a little sketch pad, micrometer, and we'll just measure out the hole. Got about 39 millimeters, so I know it can't be any bigger than 39. Bigger. Next, we're gonna measure where our flange holes are. So we'll see roughly where they used to be. I got about 77 millimeters. Just get on our paper from here. To here is about 77. I'm just gonna run self-tapping screws, so. Doesn't have to be perfect, so now we'll go inside, we'll measure our filter, and then start sketching. All right, we're inside now on the computer. I got Fusion 360 open. We still need to get some more measurements. This here is the little air filter that's gonna go inside of the bed. So I wanna measure the outside of this so the flange is the same size. So now I measure this because I want the outside of the flange roughly the same size. I got roughly 60 millimeters. So the outside of the flange, we're gonna make roughly 60 millimeters. All right, let me uh, sketch some stuff up on the computer and then I'll bring it back when I got the sketch done. Here is our basic sketch of the flange. So what we got here, we know the center hole, the biggest it could be is 39. So I'm gonna do 36, that way it has a little bit of space on each side. That way it's gonna be a little bit, you know, nice and recessed into the bed and hold it um, centered. The outside here, the outside of the flange, I got the 60 millimeters, which is the same as the air filter. And then from center of the hole, the center of the hole is 77. And the way you do that, you just do a straight line from the center of the circle to there, 38 and a half, the same up. And I did a six millimeter hole for the screws. And then 13 millimeter circle for around the bolt of the flanges on both sides. And then you just connect this circle, and this circle, same thing. Connect here, 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 here. And then after that, you're gonna extrude it. So here's our sketch ready to extrude. We're going to extrude the pieces we want. So we want pretty much the whole flange besides the bolt holes. And we go six. And there we got our basic shape. Now we'll come here to the back side, extrude the back side, which is what's going to countersink into the inside of the bed. And it'll hold the air filter nut, which you'll see in a little bit. Okay, so now we got this. All right, so now we're gonna want to do a sketch here in the center for the nut. Let's measure out the nut. <clears throat> the nut is about 18 millimeters, so we want to go a little bit bigger, that way it fits in good. It's just to hold it while we tighten a little bit, so it's going to be crazy tight. Okay, so to imprint the nut onto our part, we're going to hold, click, create sketch. We want the nut to be inserted in the front face. Click that front face. Let's grab this just to center it out. I'm going to go to create, polygon, and the first option. Go here, and I believe it was about 9.2 to give me an 18 millimeter. Let's 
square it up. Now let's make sure that that's gonna be the right size. Here, here measure, we got 18.4, so that'll work. Close our measuring device. Now we're gonna countersink this nut, we're gonna click it. And what my plan is, is I want the plastic to hold between this nut and that nut. And that's how the air filter is gonna hold tight into the flange. And I want this piece not to spin and be countersunk. So we gotta measure the depth of that nut. And this micrometer doesn't have the little piece that comes out of the bottom, so we're just gonna do it like this. So it's about five. So we're gonna sink this nut in five. So there we got our countersunk nut. Next we're going to have to do a sketch on the bottom of the nut for the threads to go through. So now we're going to measure the threads. The threads I got roughly 16.3, so we'll do a 17 millimeter hole. And you'll see that nut will grab between all of these places here from that circle to the other circle. Click finish sketch, click the circle we just drew. I'm just going to put minus 25, that way we cut all the way through the part. Alright, so now the filter will fit inside of there. Now we got to make the nut adapter fit in there also. <clears throat> So this is the back side of the adapter here. We're gonna measure from, from tip to tip to make sure that this nut could spin in that circle. So we got 24, I'll do 26. So now I'll go to create sketch sketch on this face, C for circle, 26, enter, finish sketch, and now we want to select that circle we just made, and we want to go down. Another measurement we're going to need is how much space is between one hex and the other hex because that is going to be the size that we need to keep for that piece there. So we're going to come here and measure. So we got approximately four millimeters. So we're going to bring this down till we got approximately four millimeters from that inside face. Do minus six and see what we get. Okay. Then we'll measure here. This could be a little bit tricky sometimes you have to win. On this face. To this face. We got five millimeters. So I'll go back to here. Close off the measuring. Edit feature. 
So we cut out six, we're gonna have to cut out seven if we want. What four millimeter yeah. We got four millimeters, so that's what we want. Close. And that's our piece there. So we got both our bolt holes here, here. We got the hex, so the filter is going to sit nice and flush against there. And then our threads will be in that circle there. This area will be countersunk into the hole in the bed and our hose fitting will be able to spin in there and get tight so now come over here file 3d print select the part we want printed click ok and I already have it set up where it sends automatically to Kira There's our part. So we want to click our part. Lay it flat. You're going to see this little red area. You're going to have to add support because if not, that's just going to print in air. So make sure you have support in your settings. And then you put whatever settings for whatever material you're going to be printing. Slice it. There you go. In two hours and 30 minutes, this part will be made. Save it as SD card. And I'll go print it on the printer. And I'll come back when it's done. All right, here we are at the bed. Here's our piece. And I'll show you how it goes together. See that hex goes in there and it fits nice and flush. And our threads are back there. Screw our fitting on. And that's it right there. See now it holds nice and tight. And then we'll come over to our hole. There it is. Put a self-tapping screw on each side and we're done. That's how you make a 3D printed part. That's it for that video. That was a pretty easy, simple part to make. Usually it takes a little bit longer and with practice, you get faster at making them every single time. If you got any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you guys out. Take it easy.